Hi, I'm Jordan Henderson, Territory Manager for Borgo Industries, and welcome to Seeding is Believing 2020. We've had an awesome week so far this week, but I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you probably didn't have a chance to make it out. We've got some good news for you. We've got some uh, special behind the scenes sneak peek at what we've got at our static display here in St. Brew. So first on our list, what we've got behind me here at our static display in St. Brew is a brand new 3335 uh, Paralink hoe drill. This is the drill that we'll be taking over along with the 3330 for our very popular 3320 Paralink hoe drill. That's been probably the most popular hoe drill on the market here for the last oh seven or eight years. Uh, probably what you're asking is what are the differences between the 3320 and the 3335. The main differences between what we've had before and now are right here. We can show you right at the front here double braided hydraulic hose. We've gone to double braided hydraulic hose from the single braid hose we had before. Uh, this was mostly to make sure that we had a little bit more wear, a little bit more robustness on our hydraulic hose. And also, just on the top here, some additional trussing on our drill to give it a little bit more strength. Another change we've added is uh, we've just gone to a slightly larger tire here on the wings of our 3330s and 3335s. We heard from our customers that we uh, they really like the pass-through rear trailing arms on our air kit. So if you follow our air kit along to the inner wing, we've actually now gone through, passed through air kit on the inner wing um, caster wheel as well as the main frame. The biggest difference between the 3330 and the 3335 ultimately comes to where the depth adjustment is going to be happening. So with our 3330 frame, it'll be a rigid frame drill, meaning you can't adjust depth on the QDA shims. All depth adjustment has to be done at the openers. With the 3335, depth adjustment can happen with a change in frame height with these QDA cylinders. So by changing our height of our QDA cylinders, we can adjust depth at the opener, meaning you don't actually have to crawl underneath the drill to change depth. You can do it with either the shims or our new AccuSet on-the-go adjustment. Along with our new frames, the 3330 and 3335, we also have three sort of new opener options. One of them you will definitely recognize are PLX, or Paralink Extreme Opener. It's actually just a rebranding of our tried and true XTC opener. So if you've seen the XTC opener before, not a lot of changes, in fact, really no changes to this one. Our PLX opener is just a renamed of our tried and true XTC opener. Okay, so I'm Scott Lesmeister. I'm the North American Sales Manager at Borgo Industries, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the machine you see behind me here. And this is our, uh, triple shoot system with our uh, PLD or Paralink dual knife opener. We'll maybe talk or start by uh, talking a little bit about the uh, PLD opener itself. And what this is, is really the PLS opener with a second knife added to make it a dual knife system. It allows you to triple shoot where all you're putting down the seed knife is seed. You're removing the starter fertilizer into the side band, and then you're putting the bulk of your nitrogen load in the mid-row band. So you get quicker germination, quicker emergence, because you have no fertilizer toxicity in the seed row, but you still have the starter fertilizer close and readily accessible to the plant. And of course, your nitrogen is in the mid-row where it needs to be. So the next thing I want to talk about is our AccuSet option and uh, this was mentioned a little bit earlier but I'll get into a little more detail. What AccuSet is, is really the, the QDA cylinders which allows you to change your seating depth by raising or lowering your frame. And now the AccuSet allows you to do that from the tractor seat on the fly. And AccuSet is controlled with a app that you run on your phone or tablet and you can see a little bit of an image here of the app and it's very simple very straightforward if you want to go deeper you just push the button deeper if you want to go shallower you push the button shallower so one more thing that we've carried over from the 3320 onto the 3330 and 3335 is our high float running gear option now this option over the years has become extremely popular and uh, really almost a 100% take rate on our larger drill sizes. Behind me we have the brand new leading 9650 uh, 9000 series Borgo air seeder. Of course the main benefit that we've got this year with our 9000 compared to our 7000 
is those individual tank load cells where you get the uh, individual weights from each tank. Just a couple things to mention here on the 9000 version of our leading carts. Uh, just beside me here, 44 bushel saddle tank on both the 9650 and leading 9950. Uh, we went to 44 bushels from 40 bushels just to give you a little more space, especially if you're using more than one mini bulk bag. Um, another uh, thing to take a look at here is on our leading carts, we've gone to surge brakes. So before we had the electric over hydraulic on our leading carts, we've now gone to the surge brakes. All right, we're just over on the side of our 9650 leading cart and I uh, just wanted to mention our pretty fancy new folding conveyor. All of our 9,000 carts will now be coming with conveyors and in order to make that work with our leading carts, we were, uh, our engineers were able to design this fantastic folding conveyor. Uh, works very similar to what you'd see with an auger as far as the bottom coming down, but uh, very excited about this addition to our loading and unloading. Alright, back here on the side of our leading 9650 and just wanted to touch on our tire options for all of our 9000 carts uh, for the model 2021 year. We're going to IF tires, which is increased flexion tires, meaning that you can run these tires at very low pressures. Low pressures means lower compaction. So despite the size of these tanks, uh, I'd even touch on our leading 9950, biggest leading cart on the market going up from our 7800. Uh, despite the size of these tanks, we can run our tires at extremely low pressures and low pressure means low compaction. So another thing you can see here on our static display is this uh, air seater behind me uh, is a 9300. It's part of our new 9000 series lineup. Uh, obviously, uh, the biggest visual difference uh, that you can see right away on the 9000 compared to the 7000 is the fact that we have individual tank compartments. And with that, we have load cells on every compartment. So the other option that uh, we've made standard on a 9000 series is our load and load option. Uh, now the 9000 comes standard with conveyors only. And the other option that really has generated a lot of excitement with the limited number we had out last spring is our eye to eye or implement to implement control that we introduced for the spring of 2020. And what this does is it allows uh, coverage sharing when you have two or more units in the same field. So each unit can see the other unit's coverage map. So with sectional control, they work together and then the entire field can be exported as a single map. So that's something that has our larger producers with multiple units very excited. So this year we're also introducing a new disc drill, single disc drill, uh, the 3820. Now this, I want to be clear, this does not replace our existing 3720 drill. It is in addition to. And the reason why we developed the 3820 and this new 3820 opener is uh, in order to work with our uh, air planter, which you can also see here at our static display. Now the air planter, uh, as you can see, has uh, singulation meters on our drill platform. Uh, one more thing we wanted to mention, you can see behind me an XR771. You've probably heard of our XR series of Harrows with the adjustable downforce. The biggest difference now that we've gone to from the 770 to the 771 is this solid boom arm replacing the cable system that we had before. This solid arm will be available on the 751 uh, and 771 Heavy Harrow and Mid Harrow series.